Do you really understand how difficult things are for me? It's really tough training in the snow, looking out for monsters. If you have any sympathy at all, you'll buy something. Uh, have I already looked at your wares? Thinking so. Because I remembered that you had, like, nothing. I'm actually just gonna request money from you, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Okami HD. If you guys missed last episode, frustration! Um, you guys told me that basically you could hold off on that one and do that one later when things are easier. However, there is one more uh, devil trial gate that I have to do, which I knew about. Um, and that one, regardless, is so close to the end of the game from my understanding. This is how I understand it. It's closer to the end of the game that you won't ever be able to just get better stuff and come back later. It's just very freaking difficult. Are those bats? Can I feed you? <laughs> Can I feed you after I cut you? Good question. Where am I going? What? What is this? Suddenly it's very spooky music. Don't know how to feel about this. Vengeance slip. Which is something I should definitely have a fuck ton of before I go back to that one. Goddamn demon devil trial gate. Can I have this? Thank you, tribe of the moon. Scroll drawn by wandering artist. Oh, this is gonna be about the uh, the, the animal people. Which, by the way, you guys told me how to transform them a couple episodes ago. Um, and I do wanna try that. Where is that? Tribe of the moon people. After decades of internal debate, I have decided to write about the man who spoke to me regarding the celestial plane's destruction. I shall endeavor to shoulder the heavy burden of that man's fate. My breast shall act as a bridge to the shadowy past. The man had identified himself as a member of the Moon Tribe. The idea of life thriving on that desolate rock is mind-boggling. Furthermore, their civilization has far surpassed our own. Most of their ranks succumbed to death, but this man had fled. He was silent on the topic of why his civilization was destroyed. What business could that golden tribe of the moon have with us? I gaze into the distance knowing the answer cannot evade me forever. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to try to make this jump. Oh my god, that was actually really close. I have to go back here and do that shit to get this far. I feel like this is not the only way I could have gone. Like this, this cave is definitely not probably the direction I'm supposed to ultimately be going, I would think. But like, hey, that's not stopping me from checking the balls. Oh god, any other game, this would be horrifying. <laughs> Here's your fish that you obviously want. Tell that to Bryce in the last episode. Bears eat fish. It's obvious. God, the face of that bear was just... You know what? I will backpedal. He actually had no face. That's, that's what was scary about that bear. <laughs> Sorry, bear. You're going to be in the blast radius. Oh my god! You okay? You good? He was very shocked, but ultimately that did not deter his happiness. <laughs> Got a scream in, all right! And see ya. Um, you guys also basically said that the devil trial gates are only necessary if I'm planning on going for, you know, completion. And, um, I'm s <laughs> I did not think I'd actually make that, but here we are. I, uh, I'm still not sure what my ultimate plan of, um, how, how far along I want to go in this game is. Um, it really ultimately depends on when I get to the end of the game, which you guys said is going to be obvious. Yeah, I can't cut the- Oh, God, sorry. Did not even see you. <laughs> you guys said that I'll know when the end of the game is very obviously approaching. Um, so when I get to that point where I know that the end of the game is on the way, um, I will then judge how many stray beads I have left because right now let's like actually look at how many I have how many do I have I have a number of them maybe maybe nearly half I don't know it's really hard because you get them out of order and it doesn't actually say specifically how many you have unless there's an obvious part of the UI that was on that screen just now that says my specific number which is also very obvious I have no idea uh, <laughs> it's it's very possible um where where to go? This way, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, apparently if I circle those, those, uh, those people with the masks, they'll turn into their animal counterpart, which I kind of desperately want to see. So I'll eventually see it if I see the next guy, or if the next guy I see doesn't look like he'll absolutely snap my neck if I force him into turning into one, then I'll try it. I have no idea. Oh, Webkeer. Oh, fuck! It's Webkeer. I have no idea if this is actually where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Whoa! It's like the whole village has been frozen solid. I wonder if anyone's still alive. 
Uh, if not, this will not be a triumph. Get it? It's a very forced portal joke. So funny. Can I please dig? Can you dig it? Yes, I can. It's a clover. They're always clovers. What am I trying to get to again? Life, obviously, but how much is that? How much be it? 3.30. Not that close, but I'm also not that far off. There was a merchant here. Once upon a time, the poor bastard be dead now, possibly. Hey, Yami, come on. We've got better things to do. Uh, can I go inside? No good. This door won't budge. Also, what was he soon stopping me from doing? Reading the sign? Because it would have probably taken- Oh my god, I was not expecting those to come out of that. <laughs> Reading the sign would have probably taken all but, like, one ten second interval. <laughs> one ten second interval. <laughs> I'm really squeezing that. It's fine. It's all good. Also, I really like how there's a lot of animals here that desperately want fish. Like, that's good. I've got an abundance of fish. Thick line. Just because I wanted to. I feel like the thin lines are better for me anyway. Oh, this is a waterfall. God, I love that I can walk on the water. That's so cool. I love it. Would I freeze to death had I tried to swim in this otherwise? Honestly, no idea. Very possible. What did I do to get the water tablet? Oh, it was from the emperor. I'm just kind of wondering if there was... Uh, if it was required or not, which obviously it's not, so... I want to almost take off the water tablet for a second to see if it would just freeze me because I have a feeling I would be like at, at the very least it would like drain my life quick or something. I have no idea. Maybe nothing at all Maybe I could just do it. No problems. What are these? What is this? Oh, the rabbits. I seen that they were white balls I honestly thought they were snowballs until it said I could feed them. So here, here we go. You're welcome snowballs Y'all crazy bastards I'm not actually convinced I'm supposed to be here yet. Like, this place is small. Let me see this. Will you soon say I can't read the sign? Yeah. <laughs> Better not friend read the sign. No good. This won't budge. Uh, that was the same one I tried earlier, right? So I've not tried this one yet, or will this one not budge as well? Actually, maybe this was one, the one that I tried earlier. It's fine. Clearly, I'm just not supposed to be here yet, which is also fine considering... I feel very strongly like there was another way to go in the previous area. And I feel a little bad that I even came here this early. <laughs> Sounds good! It's kind of forcing us to go explore that way anyway. Anyway. Onward! Let's take a look at the map. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I could head like more this way? No. This way. That way. Maybe. I don't know. Will Eason let me read this? I can't even read that. I have no idea what this is. Have I been down here? Clearly not. Also, is this waterfall wanting blown up? Because that's really cool. Also, another stray bead. It feels like the stray beads in this area are just kind of handed out like candy. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, please, let me in here, you crazy bitch. What the hell's this now? Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Is this what I- Yeah, this is totally what I think it is. God damn it. I'll fight the spider right now, but absolutely not. We are not even tackling this. I kind of doubt that I even can, honestly. Uh, that's the way to handle that. Jesus. Did you guys see that? Well, I made you guys see that. <laughs> So I guess you guys did see that. That was one. I did that in one. I don't know that 30,000 yen- Oof. I'm fucking rich! <laughs> Not rich. Well, actually, I am kind of rich. Um, well, Sun Fragment. Great. That's my first one, though. Good. Here's a question. Um, is there just the perfect amount of Sun Fragments in this game to have full health? Or can- is there more Sun Fragments? You know what I mean? Awkward cut! Sorry, I just came out of a sneezing fit. <laughs> I did- I wasn't able to successfully cut it seamlessly out the loading time, but fuck it. It's fine. Hey, you guys want some of these fish? I'm so glad you do because I have an excess goddamn cat call tower. Still fucking haunts me to this day. Alright, what's this? Stray bead? Oh my god, I'm sorry! Did not mean to do that! <laughs> It's like nearly dead. Yeah, it's not a straight bead. Amethyst tassels. Thanks, I'll take them. Is the bird screaming because I hit it? Because I feel a little bad. 
I was just trying to get some momentum in that direction, but apparently that would ultimately result in me killing that bird. And more fish. There you go. I can't believe we're actually seeing like 30s in the fish column now. Like that's, that's really good because I uh, didn't think we'd actually see the day, but here we are. And there's probably gonna be even more things that want fish in the future. Did I just cut down the, oh, I thought I cut down the totem. Oh, <laughs> still thought I could cut down the totem. What's this? This is the mark of protection of the Oina tribe. Here in Kamui, see I said it right. I went and I referenced the pronunciation. God damn it, why did I skip that? <laughs> The mark of protection of the Oina tribe. What's so interesting about that? Let's forget about this place. We got better things to do. Yeah, I don't know why my thumb was even on start. And then I had to hit it twice to confirm that I wanted to skip. And I said, hell yeah, I do, baby. <laughs> I feel like that's the first time that I've skipped entire dialogue. I mean, definitely not the first time I've skipped dialogue by itself. Okay, yes, thank you. I see it. Where, the Where am I? It went back under the rock because it turned nighttime. Thanks, game. Also, this was still up. Cool. We're getting real close to 3.30 already. We're gonna get another health probably by the end of this episode if we stay on track. Um, I don't know where the game wants me to go at this point. Like, this is actually kind of odd, right? Who do I go see? I want to turn this guy into his animal counterpart, I guess. Hello, how are you? Animal. Animal. That was wind again. Animal. Is that gonna work? Maybe it's because he was being winded. There he is! Hello, how are you? Do you really understand how difficult things are for me? Yes, I understand. No, I don't want to trade. No. Yes! Yeah, no! God! <laughs> the buttons are so hard today for me! Jesus Christ! Um, oh my god, there's something up there, too. Another freaking clover. This is gonna be 30 at the very least, right? Oh my god. I'm gonna get me another health already. Give me that praise. 30. That's- I'm gonna have one praise. Awesome. I love it. Love to see it. Bam! <laughs> I feel like I've never been that praise starved for the entire game. But here we are. Is this gonna- Oh, uh, wait, what? Had I known any better, I would have said that this was probably the place that would have had the, the Devil Gate trial, but no. I guess. Can I please? Can I please draw a bomb success? Please draw a bomb successfully! Thank you, Jesus! I don't know why I couldn't do that. Does it want to? It might want to. Which honestly is kind of weird. Is this the first thing that requires two? Huh! So if this is actually on the linear path, that's kind of interesting because I thought that I could have gone without getting the double bomb upgrade for possibly the entire game, but maybe not. No. Okay, this isn't even required. I kind of wish it was. Solely for the fact that I, uh, can I please? Can I please get them circles in? Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, uh, I, I have no idea where I'm going though. <laughs> that still remains to be true. Is this going to be 30 a piece? Because that seems ridiculous. Oh, it is! Great. I am no longer praise starved. Could be well on my way to getting my next health upgrade, which, by the way, is what? I have no idea. 350. Honestly, like, with the way things are going and the praise that I am on track to get, I'm feeling pretty good about that. 370. Was it 370? I, <laughs> I already forget. <laughs> The God of Divine Springs helps those who toss in some money. Anyway, nothing good ever comes out of having too much money when I cleanse your body and soul by tossing some in. Okay, toss in 100,000. I honestly forget how much I need to toss in. I feel like you guys told me about how much to toss in earlier. Was it 500,000? Something's telling me it might be like 500,000. It's fine, I'm just gonna keep tossing in some money. I have so much money anyway, it's fine. This is not a waste. Like, I ultimately know what this is going to get me. Um, not particularly, but I- d Oh, I want a three. Three- What? Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I was not expecting this. Only a heart as pure as your own can pierce the darkness. The kindness overflowing from your heart has further strengthened me. 
The destructive power of three cherry bombs is now yours. I trust that you will make good use of it. Great. I was not expecting to get the power of three. I was thinking when I seen him that the, the bombs would just be stronger against enemies, but okay, three. Bakugami's cherry bomb technique just got even more powerful? Hmm, just think about what you could do with the three cherry bombs at once. We're on a roll here, Ami. Honestly, not a whole lot to do with three cherry bombs, I would think. Scroll drawn by wandering artist. Okay, we might as well just read it, I guess. Let me see, Cherry Bomb 2. Unleash a more powerful version of Cherry Bomb with Cherry Bomb 2. After drawing one, immediately draw an additional Cherry Bomb. Create up to two sun- Wait, what? Hold on, this is wrong. Cherry Bomb 3! Unleash the ultimate version of Cherry Bomb with Cherry Bomb 3. After drawing one, immediately draw an another, and so on. Create up to three simultaneously to blast enemies to dust. Yeah, um, it seems useful in battle. I just, I feel like I don't even utilize cherry bombs enough as it is. And I probably should change that because they're really good. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like I was on a roll with my money and now I still have like nearly 500,000, but still, uh, it's just a little sad to part with all that money. Especially considering I still need to buy that thing for 2 million. Which like you guys already told me, it's one of the skills. I've seen the skill already for sale, but I, uh, I don't, uh, have the money, and now I'm even further away. See, if you're gonna just randomly jump me like this, I was really hoping that your random jump that you did do was going to give me the goddamn thing that I need. No, you need wind. Because we're still on the lookout for, uh, boyos. What are they called? The, um, the, the fucking, the, the guy that wants us to kill things. In fact, I think we have, like, the vast majority of them still left. Because we got it literally last episode, so of course. Um, have we seen two? We might have seen two. Maybe one. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Uh, you guys have been telling me that I should probably possibly consider equipping double the same weapon. And if I'm gonna do that, then I probably want to equip double beads. But, like, the last beads that I got aren't... Or was so long ago, you know? Do I have the thing that's, like... That would... Here, let me, let me look for a second. All right, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I don't think I even have the skill that doubles up on the, the damage output if I have, like, double rosary. Um, I would have actually switched to double rosary right now had I had, because I'm okay with double rosary. Um, you guys also told me that there is a secondary, um, alternative for the rosary that's basically a shotgun, which I definitely want to see because that sounds rad as hell. Um, but also that that probably comes from having double rosaries. I don't know where to go. Like, at this point, Wep Cure seems like the only place that I should be going. So I'm gonna go back and double check that there's nothing there for me. Uh, well, at first glance, hold on, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was initially. <laughs> I have a feeling watching a blind Let's Play is probably incredibly frustrating at times, especially when you're like, Ah, uh, dude, turn left, there's stairs! <laughs> and then I just can't. I mean, come on, better things to do! Yeah, sorry. <laughs> of a blind let's play isn't it uh especially if you watch one with somebody as dumb as old bryce Aroni here hey how you doing can i get some of that uh some of them herbs for you boys you guys want some of them herbs mm, god it's delicious just love me some herbs he's pushing me i don't really take kindly to people that push me around you dick yeah this place is a lot bigger than i thought like, immediately I turned right and I was like, well, that's all that there's here. Also, my God, like I said earlier this episode, we're getting stray beads like crazy. Can I go in here? No good, door won't budge. That door looks like it's made out of cloth. <laughs> so I'm a little confused at why that door won't budge. Can I hop in that chimney? I'm gonna try to hop in the chimney if all else fails. No good, this door won't budge. None of these doors will budge, God damn it. Is there gonna be something back here because definitely Definitely not? What? Is there... Come on, Okami. There's gotta be some kind of hidden goodies around these parts. Although, to be fair, they've already hidden like, a stray bead. I feel like that stray bead would have been better hidden behind there, though. But I guess not. Also, there's somebody at least up here to talk to, so that's good. Hey, you look disgruntled as hell. How you doing? Samical. Halt. Who goes there? This is the house of the village elder. If you need something from the elder, you must go through me. I'm Samical. 
Top warrior of the Owina, Owina tribe. I will pronounce it correctly, goddammit. Owina warrior Simikl. <laughs> Sheesh. Who does this guy think he is? Well, at least we finally met someone from the village. So, what are you doing standing around in the middle of this blizzard? Huh? That grating voice. Is that you, Isun? What in the world are you doing with that strange white wolf? That's none of your business, pal. Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess. Is it true demons have taken over as Izo Fuji? Ezo Fu <laughs> That's another one. I'm still assuming it's Izo Fuji. I want to get these pronunciations right. You must have been gone for some time if you don't know that. Save your questions for when you get back to your own village. That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious white wolf with you too. I'll add white where I want to, apparently. <laughs> Why, you little? We're done talking to you. Let us into the chief's house now. No, you must not pass. We normally don't even let strangers into the village. And I've told the villagers not to let them into your, their houses. They will obey me, for I am Samical, chief of Wepkir. Now be on your way. Oh, you want to fight? Well, I'm going to fight you, dude, and it's not going to end well. What up? Hold on a second. You, chief? What happened to the old man Ka Kima? Ki Kimu? Kimu? Kimu! <laughs> he didn't buy the farm, did he? What's going on? Well, of course he's still alive. But he's been greatly weakened battling the demons. Now their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off. Since only the Elder's volcanic incantation can foil their plans, that is why I became chief of the village. I must protect the Elder from the monsters lurking in every corner. Now be on your way! Okay, I guess I can't even take you out if I wanted to. But that's fine, there's still some things that I could look at. Like these bears, hello! How you doing? You guys want fish? Because of course you do. That's 10 more praise, baby. Right? Also, why loading? <laughs> it's hard to remember how to calculate the praise. Hold on a second. Yeah, can I have this? And stray bead. Nope. <laughs> I'm just coming to expect them at this point with considering how frequently I've been getting them. Can I just go like beyond this? I'm gonna go beyond this. That's cool. This path leads to Ezo Fuji, a pair of... It's Ezo Fuji. I think it's Ezo Fuji. This path leads to Ezo Fuji, a pair of sacred mountains. I bet the gates shut tight to keep the demons out. Uh. <laughs> well, let me open it up to put the demons in, shall we? Okay. Well, what? You want to talk again? Let us buy, Samical. You want us to make you? Uh... I sense extraordinary power in this white wolf, but if you do not heed my warning, I'll devour you where you stand. Now be on your way. Still as stubborn as a mule, I see. Come on, Ami, I've had it with this village. <laughs> He's not even phased. All right, fine, I'll be on my way then. Clearly, Isun says we're done here. And Isun, ru Isun rules me, Isun. <laughs> Can I jump in this? I thought for a second I did. That would have been cool, all Mario style. What's that? What are you? What are you? What's an owl? I feel a little bad for doing that just now. It's all good. All right, Isun, as long as you think we're good to go, then I trust you, bro. Let's get the balls out of here. Hey, wait! Huh? Is that a fox? Foxy baby? Hello? Oh, you're a dog. <laughs> you guys, wait up! Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in ages. Isun, it is you. I thought I heard you talking to Samichael. It might be Samichael. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I'd go come back and see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone. And that Samichael's still as stubborn as ever. When did he become chief? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest at my place? I'll bring your white wolf too. That time it did say white. Well, this is nice. Ugh, at least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, Isun? And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. Whoa! That was sick! <laughs> Awina girl Kai. 
That this here is a Matarasu, otherwise known as No Bath Army. Well, let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about these those demons that are plaguing Kaomui. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Oh, owl boys! Those twin demons, Lechku and Nechku. They were sealed away by a brave Owena hero years and years ago. And they have ensh been enshrined at the wa wa Waku Waku Shrine ever since. Then one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Oh, Jesus! Kamui set out for the shrine at the top of Ezofuji to pacify them, but they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Samiko managed to get to him just in time, bring him back. Then they got even more violent and turned Izofuji into a glacier. I'll flip flop on that. You guys told me how to pronounce the Izofuji, but like, I'm reading it and I'm like, that could still be Ezo or Izu. <laughs> it's fine. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Samical's trying to protect the village while Kemu recovers. Kimu? Might be Kimu. <laughs> Pronunciations are hard, but there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fix if old man Kimu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinju Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kimu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness, and there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. Black Shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into Waku Waku Shrine as if it be it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think this blizzard's been stronger since then. That's odd. Kai, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kimu let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki? He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. Oh yeah? As soon as Samichael was... Sam Michael. It's probably Sam Michael, whatever, was chosen to take Kimu's place as chief. Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. Admirable. Just walked away with the sacred sword? Didn't even ask permission? Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Sam Michael does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now of all times. One last thing, Kai. It's about Sam Michael. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kimu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Sam Michael would never say it. But he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. So then why do you have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost. Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika? As in, Lika, you're... That's right, my little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just vanished. Not poor little Lika, too. Why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? We don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance, but they would certainly have reason to seek her out. You see, Lika... Lika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village? <laughs> Hold on! Somebody's howling in the distance! That was Kimu's howl! He's calling to you, Isun. He's summoning the both of you! Really? Strange. Be gone, fire! <laughs> <laughs> I'll make your place real cold. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Kind of an odd one because I feel like we were torn multiple ways and then we finally f uh, found the path that we were supposed to be on, which was obvious in the first place. But hey, that's this let's play for you in a nutshell. 
Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If y'all want to subscribe to Father Emmanuel Let's Play, please do so. And also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Links for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching and come back next time for when we obey the summons of Kimu. I guess. Can I eat this?